1,091. This was the total bison population as of 1905. With over 30 million bison in the 1600s, this number is especially concerning. Since then, the number has increased from 1,091 to over 350,000 bison, enough to be taken off the endangered species list in 2014. But sadly, the same cannot be said for many other species. Many animals around the world are hitting record low numbers. Protecting these animals is one thing the Nature Conservancy strives to accomplish. The Conservancy has been trying to protect and preserve nature since 1954, tackling everything from climate change to deforestation. They use volunteers and your donations to protect our Earth. To me, conservation is important because I grew up in a time when um, streams and rivers were not taken care of the way they are now. I grew up in Michigan and we had the Great Lakes. And as a young girl, I can remember dead fish on the, on the shores of the lake. And there's no kid that wants to wander through dead fish to go swim in a lake. Now, when I go back up to Michigan and I see the lakes and they're sparkling and they look like something from the Caribbean, it makes me proud that those lands have been preserved. Remember those bison from earlier? Well, in 1995, the Nature Conservancy set up a 45,000 acre prairie reserve in Pahuska, Oklahoma. They were donated 300 bison by Oklahoma rancher Kenneth Adams. And since then, the population of bison has increased from those 300 to 3,200. Oklahoma isn't the only place they're helping bison. In South Dakota, they have a reserve that has grown from 18 to over 300 bison. The Nature Conservancy also has bison reserves in Missouri, Iowa, and Illinois. We have over 2,000 bison on the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve just walking around. They have the right-of-way on our little dirt county road, and it's just a magnificent beast, and we just love being up, getting up close and personal with them. American bison are uh, beautiful animals, and they were almost, a, you know, went extinct and back in the turn of this uh, 20th century. The fact that they have come back as strong as they have, and this great place, as well as in the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge and other places like that, are to me is a great success story. And I just like the way they look, and I like the way they they uh, just act so uh, independent, and uh, they're beautiful animals. So. The Nature Conservancy has been around for several years. We we're one of their largest properties, but now. They are worldwide. They've got, they're in so many countries. Basically, they're saving the world, or it's their attempt to save the world. I enjoy working up on the prairie. The prairie is so beautiful, and our landscape changes by the month. It's, we have so many wildflowers, so many bison, so many deer. We've got trumpeter swans that are wintering with us. It's just a wonderful place to go. There are so many places that still need to undergo major conservation efforts in order to restore the habitats of many endangered species. Your donations make these conservancy projects possible. You can be a critical part of this global effort to protect our land and water by donating, or even volunteering your time at a project near you. Any money donated will go straight to helping conservation, not only around the world, but in your own community. I would say that someone should donate to the Nature Conservancy if they're interested in preserving land and water because that's what the Nature Conservancy is about, is preserving the land and water that all nature depends on. The Nature Conservancy is a wonderful organization. There's no politics involved. They're just here to help the world, it is important that we and our visitors uh, donate. To give money to help the Nature Conservancy, go to nature.org and click donate in the top right corner of the screen. Any size donation is paramount to conservation efforts everywhere. Will you help make the world a better place? Mm -hmm.